On this video, you will see us catching, cleaning, and cooking a king salmon from Lake Michigan. I hope you guys enjoyed the drone footage as well as truck camping and the beautiful sunset out there. Thanks to Bob and Ben for inviting me out on this trip. Let's get right into this footage. This video is brought to you by Great Lakes Gear, Lake Effect Glue Co., and Art Spinners. Check them out with the link below. Use the code to save 10% off your order. we got out on the water about 5:30 a.m. that morning we were certainly marking a lot of fish down there we got our meat rigs down there this one that we're unwrapping currently is the pickled sunshine and it's been a pretty hot meat rig out here as well as we did run some glow spoons down there and before throwing it down we put our flashlights on it to glow it up to give us the best chance of catching the fish so we put out meat rigs, we put out spoons, some ones that were pretty hot in recent weeks, as well as some other ones. You know, out here on Lake Michigan, especially with a tough bite, especially with weather as it warmed up this weekend, it's good to be proactive in changing out baits and trying to figure out which baits these salmon want that morning. Because the lake can flip, the next day they're hitting something completely different we even saw a container ship passing us tuning its horn that morning we watched that container ship as it passed our boat and headed into port it was such a beautiful morning there just watching that sunrise rise above michigan there behind us We put down two planer boards about five colors back on lead core. And then I sent up my drone to get some really good footage of the boat and the surrounding area. It was my first time ever having to net a drone, but with the wind so strong as it was today, I didn't want any chance of losing the drone. And maybe that was a good luck charm, because here in a second you're going to hear a rod start screaming with a king salmon on the end. It was awesome. First time ever netting a drone, but with the wind like that, with the wind like that, yeah, I got on the camera. Fish, 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 fish. Dude, that was awesome. <laughs> Maybe the drone was the good luck charm. <laughs> don't even know he's hooked yet. What the <laughs> there we go. He just swam right to me. <laughs> First fish. Now he's funny like. <laughs> Dude, that was awesome. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Man, man, that's awesome. He was like, yeah, he's gonna be really fine in here. First one on the boat. That's awesome. Yeah, he literally just swam right to me. Like I couldn't even stop yeah, him from crazy. doing it. I tried to let him go even, and he wouldn't do nothing but swim at me. That's awesome. What do you say, six pounder? Maybe eight pounder. Well, we've landed our first nine pound king salmon. We kept on switching spin doctors and meat rigs and spoons for stuff that works better in brighter conditions as the sun came up. And next thing you know, we had a fish on. It's a big and loose net drive. Yep, yep, sorry, we just got a fish. To anyone who hasn't fished for yep. king salmon much or any salmon thereof, it is extremely crucial to keep your line taut at all times 
because one minute he could be screaming off like a freight train, and the next moment he's running at you. And if you give him any slack in this, the line, he is automatically gone, and you just lost that fish that you would be eating later on that day. So it is extremely important to keep your line taut. If he's going to run, let him run. But if he comes running at you, make sure you're keeping that slack line up or you're going to be losing that fish. Oh, look at those runs. <laughs> yep, that's how I do it once I feel they're ready. So, yeah. so that you can feel it out. If they start to run, you can let go quick and they can just. I'm going to walk on back. Awesome. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's a nice one. Yep. Oh, he's had his face ripped off already. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> he's got a huge hole in his mouth. Oh, that's cool. One. See those flyers? Yep. There you go. Yeah, he was actually down in there pretty good. I don't think it was coming out. Sure was. I inhaled it. Oh, yeah, look at He's yeah. had his face literally ripped you off already. <laughs> <laughs> that was the second time you made a mistake, bud, and it was your last one. <laughs> That'll be good to eat Guys, check out my first salmon of the day. Welcome back to another episode of Giant Trucking Outdoors. Here I'm with my good buddy now, Bob and Ben, out in Lake Michigan. And I'll show you today and how we're catching these awesome, beautiful salmon out on Lake Michigan. Stay tuned. We're running this uh, meat rig right here. This green flies. Good old green weaver. Oh, I forget what color that is. Called, uh, green dolphin. Green dolphin. Producing yeah. fish out here. So right here, we put that salmon on a stringer, and we are dragging them beside the boat after we cut their gills, just so that that water is running through their gills and help bleeding them out in the best way possible so the meat stays fresh and delicious, and you get the majority of the blood out from the system. After a couple of minutes, we pulled it out off the stringer. We saw that it regurgitated out an L-Live, which is the main food source which they were eating there. We went and got a weight on it. It was about 11 pounds and we got in the ice chest to keep it nice and cold until we're ready to flay it up back on shore. Guys, look at that hole in the side of his head. <laughs> like, you can literally put your finger inside. Yep, he's been hooked That is crazy. <laughs> or she, um, yeah, it looks like probably another hen, yeah. Next thing you know, we had the third fish on of the day on the same meat rig we caught both of the previous fish on. Bob passed the rod over to Ben, and then he started reeling on that fish. Dude, you're going to have to get another one of those. <laughs> And that spin doctor and those flies and meat rig, they're working quite well. I think that's going to have a new piece of meat, probably. After re-watching the footage here, it looks like that the fish tore off a ton of drag. And then he turned around and started racing right back towards the boat. And there was a little bit of slack line, and that's all that fish needed to get off. But that's fishing for you guys. You know, you win some, you lose some. You know, you just keep on going, hope you can catch some more. We got that meat rig back down there, 
and we kept on switching lines around and hoping to catch more fish that day. We were certainly marking a bunch of salmon on the graph. I got my money on either that rod there, that rod there, or that planer board. Yeah. Something's going off. Maybe downrigger for all I know. Saving the planter right here. Pulling out trash. We fished till about 1.30 p.m. and then we pulled our lines in and head back to port. And put away, and away as we go. Well, we just got back to the docks there. Got some fish. It was awesome hanging out yep. with you. Nice to meet you, Johnny. Take care. And yourself as well? Yes, sir. You too. Anytime, man. Yep. Anytime. I'll get a hold of you again, sir. Sounds good. We had a ton of fun. I'm going to go ahead and take these salmon and get them cleaned up. And then we'll be heading over to Walmart, grabbing some groceries, and cooking up a delicious salmon meal in the back of my truck. Stay tuned for that. Hey guys, I'm over at the fish cleaning station right now. I'm going to go ahead and clean up these salmon. And then this fish is the fish I caught, which is about 11 pounds. And he 100% got hooked before. Check out that mouth. It is all screwed up. Look at how aligned the teeth are. They're like crooked. It has a massive hole there. You can literally put your finger right through it. It's like crazy, you know? But I'm gonna go ahead, get these cleaned up. What's up everyone? I'm at the back of my truck now. We're gonna go ahead and make that recipe with that salmon. This is a recipe that my grandmother used to make for us and it was absolutely delicious. Here we go. Well, we're gonna go ahead and start cooking here. Here's that salmon I caught. Good chunks of meat. So what I'm doing here is I'm taking tin foil and putting it across the bottom of the pan. The pan is a little bit larger than I would actually like, so I had to use multiple strips of that. And then you go ahead and take some dill seasoning and sprinkle that across the bottom of the tin foil. Then you lay those salmon chunks on top of the tin foil. Then I use a five salt, five pepper herby seasoning on top of that salmon. And then go ahead and pour heavy whipping cream about to the top of the salmon or a little bit above that. And then sprinkle pretty heavily dill on top of that cream sauce there. And then cover it with some tin foil. I did have to use a couple sheets just to do the size of the pan. And then I set a timer for 30 minutes. Then I went ahead and put a couple cups of water in a pan to cook my rice with. I let it boil 
and then I poured about roughly two cups of rice in that water, stirred it around, covered it, pulled it off the stove to let it cool and soak up that water. I went ahead and checked that salmon, and it looked perfect. That looks delicious, man. That's awesome. We'll be eating good here today. Hey guys, a little windy out here in the parking lot, but I'm gonna go ahead and get my meal dished up here for lunch. Grab a plate. Good rice right there. Take some of that cream sauce and pour it on your rice. That should be amazing right there. Oh, look at that deliciousness right there. That is so delicious, flaky. Amazing. That's pretty awesome there. If you guys are ever going to cook up some salmon, use this recipe, it's amazing. I'm going to finish this up, I'm going to clean up the truck, and head on with my day. Well, I went ahead and crawled into bed. About ready to head off and get some good sleep here. So good night, y'all. I'll see you guys in the morning. Well, good morning, guys. Just woke up. I'm here in the back of the Myers parking lot. Put some tinfoil up to here. Help with noise or light or everything else. Turn this fan off. There we go. Shut that window. day out here i hope you guys enjoyed this video throw up a massive like or comment below even say you just enjoyed it any comments or likes really helps my video again boost to more people as always keep on truck camping stay outdoors stay amazing i'll see you guys on my next adventure i'm gone this video is brought to you by great lakes gear lake effect lure co and art spinners Check them out with the link below. Use the code to save 10% off your order.